always great to see you, Anne, and I so appreciate this beautiful gift that you brought me. Oh, you're so and, welcome. And I really enjoyed the story behind it. Oh, it, it is rather an interesting story. It was the first activity of that sort for me, making cuttings and growing young plants that I wanted to, re to really work. Right, Either right. Either in my garden or your garden or somebody's garden. I wanted it to work. Well, I especially love your choice. First uh, of all, rosemary, mm -hmm. but most of all, blue lady rosemary. Yes. Ma one of Madeline's great, great introductions. introductions. Yeah. So it is a beautifully blooming plant. It is. It, when it matures. It, it really is. is. Um, so, please tell me what you did to get this beautiful start. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tell you in uh, as quickly as I think is appropriate okay. and as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. Well, they can always come in for personal instructions, oh, too. Oh, absolutely. The plants are always good. He, I, I never find a plant here that I couldn't take cuttings from right. almost immediately. You know, if, it, if it's a woody kind of thing. Sure. It grows this way. Um, I, I think the biggest excitement for me was doing it for not the very first time, but the first time to try to get an array all going at the same time and right. growing and being ready for a presentation at the same time. I started out with 25. And I wound up with eight like this. That's not so, so bad, uh, <laughs> especially <laughs> given this this summer that we endured here. That, that's very true. And the, these eight that I have were outdoors all summer. Wow. On a, a brick patio. Yeah. But they were seated over in the shade. Perfect. And they were diligently watered, but they were also fertilized with arborgate. And I fertilizer. noticed that they're in arborgate soil they're as well. They're in arborgate soil. Yeah. Um, and I think that the, I think they've come through that heat very well. They're beautiful. They're, they all eight look the same. Yeah. And if I had 25 that lived, I'm, I believe they'd <laughs> all look the same. Yeah. But there, there is a possibility of taking this plant. Are you ready for me to talk about you, cutting? Absolutely. I, I am ready, if I have any of these plants that I haven't given to friends, to start taking some cuttings from these because if you look at the plant, here's, here's a stem that could be a, a cutting. And then there are several more in here that are sizes that I like. I like to give them enough to get started with. Right. And so what I do is just take my good sharp things here and, and cut off quite a lot of that. Um, the, what you want this cutting to do is get busy making roots. Right. So you don't want to ask it to support too many stems. Sure, sure. You might, now this is four, you might take this big one off. And then you would have enough to take in sun, to take in water and fertilizer, and I would hope that that would would, would ro root. Would root. And, um, and we root in soil, right? That's a common misconception. People often say, I'll start it in water. But we oh, want to start them in soil. Yeah, you, you want to start them in soil. And we have, this is a good soil. It strikes me that this is probably Arborgate yes. soil. Yes, yeah. And I use nothing but Arborgate. This is Arborgate soil and fertilizer. Perfect. And I started using uh, the regular fertilizer on it as soon as I moved it up to this size. Okay. Maybe even the size before. Okay. Because okay. it's so harmless and you can get it some um, nourishment so quickly. Quickly. Yes, ma'am. Now, when when we were working with this size and I had I didn't have this many cuttings, but I didn't because I didn't have that many um, blue ladies to make cuttings from at that moment. In right, time. right. So um, I, I got these started and uh, we rigged up uh, in our utility room, we rigged up a light mm -hmm. and we put this on a, oh, that's a heat, uh, heat mat, heat mat that which would have been wonderful in, in a cold winter. Right. As it happens, I started these where we have central heating. Gotcha. So the, it was steady. Uh, in that room, and my shed, my, what I call my potting shed, uh -huh. the real workhorse, but it doesn't have enough natural light. Gotcha. So I chose a place right by a window, and also we got a light 
that we plugged in. Okay. So thi this first batch of this size had uh, 25 in it, and it had light, it had drainage. Mm -hmm. This is drainage and here. High, and then it had a, the little cover little, for humidity. Yep. Right, to control the environment. And uh, So we start with a cell from yes, this. From we start this. with a little tiny pot. I, I did. Plenty of, of light. Mm -hmm. Plenty of light. Plenty. And then we misted it. I, I misted it, and I, I, w I want to show everybody this. This is the greatest thing since sliced <laughs> bread. I mean, you can do both things. All at once. Right. Yeah. And then you can do that. Oh, look at this. Batteries. Oh. How's it? <laughs> what will they think? I know, next? I know. They These got it. gardening fanatics, you know. <laughs> They're always inventing something. Yes. No, but but I, I So did. how do we know when our our root our cutting has taken root? Well, the first soon, not too soon. It's slow. It's slow. And rosemary is very slow. slow. Yes. But I I start picking these up and looking at the bottom. But you can't always wait for them to go grow through, through. and be seen. So I w would very very carefully take one out of the cell okay. and see if I could see any signs of root root r development. You know, it's just tiny thready things that you can so see. So do you watch for them to make it to the edge of the pot? Then we know that we have a good enough root ball to, to manipulate to the next size up. I wait I wait for, for them to have a root ball that I can hold in my hand okay. before I plant it on. Okay. And then we okay. go to maybe Wait. this size or this size? Well, I, I never have tried anything this small, but I love this pot, so I'm sure I will next time. <laughs> <laughs> so we could but actually really, use this instead use, of this? You could do, absolutely. Okay. That is, I'd love to have 25 of those <laughs> in a row. I know where you can get them. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Send me along. All right. All right so and then we go next to this size. You can go next to that size with no problem. And same thing, we check the roots and make sure that we're to the edge of the pot, mm, got yeah. a substantial root ball, uh -huh. and then we can go we can go to the next size. Yeah, and, you know, I just, I would probably spit, skip that one. Okay. Unless it was just so... Uh, Thin. Gotcha. If the root uh, threads were so thin that I didn't want to subject it to a, more soil, that's just a judgment call. Right. And I don't think there's any magic in it. It'll work or it won't. Yeah, well, this is yeah, true. That's this true. is true. And then when you when you get a good root ball, then you're safe moving it on to this one, which. I'm and you sorry. know, I think it's just the uh, same thing that I had that. Sure. One. And I think one thing people get into a little bit of trouble is they go from too small of a container to too large, large. of a oh, container so right. and skip yeah. those medium steps yeah. because that small root ball is not able to absorb that excess yeah. moisture yeah. and you stand a good chance of losing it that Just way. Just losing it. Yes. And uh, really and truly, you can start here. If you're hanging over and looking at them like, like I do uh -huh. uh, every day, you think, uh-oh, that's already a great big root ball let's go forward yes. yeah yeah and then yeah. maybe that's one week you know or one well month. and then when you get to this stage it opens an opportunity to look at all uh, these beautiful pots oh yes and the one of my loves in fact my uh, son-in-law is a potter which endears pots to me even more but i've always loved them but i i i do make a lot of use of the simple terracotta for its uh, breathability and, mm -hmm. and it, it drains so, so much better than plastic it, it's it is and it's it, they you can use them over and over again they stack nicely for storage and, and you can just have something right. that's great for the plant right the best you can get now this one is this mine or yours no this is mine. this is yours yeah I was gonna just I haven't pulled it out shall we sure here you want to pull it out or you want to let me yeah. do this okay I just and it's so rooted in, it doesn't even want to come out. Oh, I did such a good job. <laughs> Gosh. Well, is it really? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> it is in there well. Oh, this is what you want. This Especially is what you want. Especially this time so. of year and this particular yeah, I mean, year. It's, it's going to cool off. Yep. You can take this out and put it in the garden. It'll be fine. Yep. Or one of these really, what I love is my collection of these really bigger uh, decorative pots with color on the outside. There's your good root. That's a very good root. And you know, at a garden center, 
they don't mind if you oh, no, you pop should. it out and look at the roots. You no, always should do that. You should do that. I do it here. Yes. I, I, I want to see. Uh, I, I'm sorry we can't look at this one. It's, you, it's, it's well rooted. I think it's rooted to the clay <laughs> of the pot. But, you know, with the right knife, you can just go down oh, like sure. this and, and get it loose. It won't hurt it no, at all. No. So, uh, Good job, Ann. I must say. Uh, <laughs> too bad only eight of them performed like that. But I'm going to try again. I th well, you know, you couldn't have picked a, a more harsh summer. Summer. Mm. Oh, it was. It was. But I, to be honest, as a, I have to tell the truth, I really do think the key time was when it was in... In, in, the, the, that in the cell. Getting started with root development and balancing off your watering with the uh, um, whatever is in the air in the room, whatever moisture is in the air, yeah. and light. And I think the lights are really important. Well, you know, a lot of this is like uh, getting a new recipe. It, it is. doesn't always work the first time. No, no, that's right. And I'll keep telling myself that. Yeah. I, I did make cuttings from Rosemary once when we had the nursery, and I made some experimental cuttings out in one of the houses uh -huh. and they just took off. I said to myself, Annie, you could grow this. <laughs> now, I never had occasion to, uh -huh. but uh, I think it is a vigorous rooter. Yes. Uh, if you're a beginner doing that, I think rosemary is an excellent plant. So, exactly. So, if you're beginning and you want to start your own, mm -hmm. uh, come get a beautiful rosemary mm -hmm. selection and uh, and Give a it a try. And get a, get a bunch of these little pots. You have some left over, I'm sure. Yeah. And uh, then you can move on to something beautiful. Yes. And you'll deserve it. Yes. <laughs> it's great. Thanks, work. Ann. Oh, thank you.